free code camp javascript algos and data structures we are doing basic javascript to challenge 112 of 113 so we're on the second to last one literally two more to go so let's knock one out so this is a recursion challenge i'm not the best at explaining recursion challenges just because it i don't i don't have a good way of explaining um of explaining it really i mean it's when you have the concept in visualized you can kind of understand it better but it's it's very difficult to explain uh, and I have recommended in the previous recursion videos to maybe Google or YouTube some recursion explain videos and just kind of get a good grasp on the concept of recursion which is where we call a function from within itself so you can see in this example count up uh, we are calling count up within itself we are changing the argument it's given, but it is calling itself within itself until it hits a conditional that uh, will stop it from essentially looping, essentially uh, looping within itself with changing its arguments. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the concept, calling itself within itself. So today we are going to make a countdown function uh, with one parameter, n is in a number. Uh, the function should use recursion to return an array containing all the integers n through 1 based on the n parameter. If the function is called with a number less than 1, the function should return an empty array. For example, calling this function with n equal 5, the function should return 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Your function must use recursion by calling itself and must not use any loops. Okay. So... Um, this is kind of a good example to use here because it's basically giving us a kind of a hint on how to do this, kind of like a, a template, a loose template, very loose template on how we kind of want to set this up and do this. So uh, we're going to enter the function, countdown, we take in the n, the number, we can say if n, we want to say if it is less than 1, right, Yeah, less than 1. We want to return an empty array. We'll do square brackets. If it is not less than one, then then we can basically um, create an array and recurse within that array. Call the function with n minus 1 until n is less than 1 and then it will kind of stack all those within the array that we return so we can say uh, let array equal count down and we'll give it n minus 1 so until n is is less than 1 we're gonna keep sending it down uh, within itself, like call it within itself and do the same operations within itself. Uh, it's the, again, I, I would recommend watching some other videos if my explanation is not making sense, but if you understand recursion, you kind of, you understand kind of what we're, what we're getting at here. And then, um, we basically need to add the array, the values within the, into the array here. So whatever n is, right? We need to add it. So as it goes down, it needs to continue adding each value within it. So we can say array dot, and we could, we want to uh, unshift because we are pushing each value to the front of the array as we go down, right? Or yeah, as we come back up. So unshift n, and then we are going to return the array. Okay, so I hope this made sense. Let's see if that worked. Yes, that did did take it. So really what we're doing here is we're sending n down, oops, we're sending n down uh, within the same function until n is less than 1, n is 0, then it returns an array, and then everything on top of that, all the function calls before that, unshift and add n to the array essentially. And then we return that array. So 
hope that made sense. Um, again, I would definitely watch some videos on how this recursion concept actually works, and then this should make more sense. You can you can also play around with this code and uh, let's see here. Let's just console.log pushing. So if we run this, you can see uh, in this 10 example, it pushes one into the array, two, and we're unshifting. So we're really pushing to the front of the array. So we're adding one and then two to before it and then three before that and four before that and 10 and all the way up to 10. So the last value being added because it goes all the way back up to the top to this first call uh, is 10, but really we're adding it in the order of one, two, three, four, and backwards. Hope that helped, hope that made sense. Hope to see you guys in the next challenge.